guys there's some days that you just can't do what you need to do on your property well maybe i need to change that what i'm thinking i guess i do need to do it it's one of my vehicles water pumps out of it here's my new one it's all my ranger yeah i don't drive it that often but I don't know if you can see the pulley's wobbly real bad. I need to replace it. It's down in that area. You do not have to take the timing cover off. But it's down there. I'll kind of bring along what we got to do. But with the fuel prices going so high. I mean right now my diesel is $5 a gallon. I'm pretty sure if I drove around town I might be able to find it cheaper. But I'll burn two gallons trying to find, find the, the, the cheaper gas. It's not worth it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this old girl back on the road again. I mean, all right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and break loose the um, the uh, uh, fan shroud. We'll take the fan nuts loose, the little screws. There's four of them down there, right back in this area. Take those four loose. That'll pull the fan and shroud up and out of the way. I have my coolant bucket down on the bottom. And uh, it's easier to get to the drain plug once this is all off and out of your way. So I'm going to get that all done, and we'll bring you back when I get that close. Hey, the secret to also uh, breaking, you know, taking the fan off. A lot of people goes and pulls their belt off first. Do not do that. Leave your belt on. Break those screws loose. Those screws will break loose real easy with the belt on, so you don't have to hold the pulley. All right, we're going to get going. All right, I got out the two screws that go here. One two they're eight millimeter heads then i took out the four bolts that go down there on the water pump and now this pump the uh the, the blade and shield should come on out no problem there we go now we are completely that's all gone so now i need to get a sock a uh, ratchet and we're going to put it on here. We're going to take this belt off. All right. Down here. Right down in this area. Right here. See if I can get the camera down there. Right there is the belt tensioner. Okay. All tensioners. You can either use a um, half inch or a three eighths. This is a three eighths. You stick it inside that little hole that's right there. And you're going to pull it one way or another. It's spring loaded. So we're going to pull up. As you can see, when you pull up, it loosens that belt and allows you to take the belt off somewhere. Let's see. I could take it off the alternator. We're off and just release the belt tensioner. There it goes. It's down. Take that out of there. Remember how your belt goes, but on the Fords, they put on a tag that shows you how to put your belt. Uh, this one here is for 2.3. All right, so I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to start draining the coolant, and I'll bring you back when I've got more going on. All right, I got the three screws out that holds that water pump in, and we're going to go ahead and hit this, and it should come right knock right, right, right loose. Hey, it's loose. You can see it. I left that one hose on because it's pretty hard to disconnect. Here we go. There's that. And now I gotta try to get that hose off. Right. Try to get that hose off right here without damaging the hose. So let me get in here. Let's see if I can't pull it apart. Hold on here. Got a pair of pliers that are angled. Let's see if I can't get in there. It's sliding right off. Here we go. All right. There you go. Now. So that thing was snap, crackle, popping. And now we're going to go ahead and put a new one on. I need to go clean the gasket off that's in on the motor. And then we'll get back to putting this back on. All right. Now you can see what's going on in here. You can see how I've got it all cleaned up. The surface where the water pump's going to sit. There should be three bolt holes you can see. And then you can see that one heater hose right there. So what I'm going to do is slide the water pump down in there. I'm going to push the water hose, that one water hose, on it, and then get it ready to bolt up. Okay, 
as you can see the pumps in there went in pretty easy i've got one bolt here that has to be tightened up i've got another one that's down here and another one that is right up over here now this one that's down here that does go into a water jacket so you have to put thread lock sealer on that and uh because when you pull that out coolant comes out of it so you got to make sure you put thread sealer on that lower bolt all right i'm gonna go ahead and tighten this all up again and i'll put that clamp on that hose and then we'll install that lower hose i got it all back together again and hey if you have the opportunity to go ahead and put coolant in this before you put the belt in put the shroud in do it so if you have a leak you can find it real easy and you can see it okay if you noticed i got my bolt in here and what uh, and that's on the pulley i'm going to put my belt back on now it's really easy to do it right this minute this bolt will keep this pulley aligned where it needs to be and then after the, the belt's on, I'm going to slide the fan in and the shroud back in. I'm going to take that bolt out. I'm going to slide the fan on and put that bolt in. I'm cheating the system in a way. And I'll put that bolt on. And I'll put another bolt. That'll line and I'll draw the bolts in. And I don't have to mess with this belt system with the fan in a way, everything else. It's a real pain in the you know whoosies. So do it now. It's easy. Okay, I reversed everything. I got the four nuts tightened on my water pump. I put these two on, we should, I fill it back up with coolant, and now we're going to fill it, let that thing run, and warm up. And... Alright, I got it running, no leaks, the water pump's done, it's all good, and uh, we're done with this one. Tomorrow, we head back out working in the yard. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you later.